Hi, I'm Ross Blankenship, the Investing King. I want to give you some inside access into the best tips to help you as an investor make some serious money. Listen up as I reveal some secrets just for you. Hey there, this is Ross Blankenship, better known as the Investing King. And I want to spend a moment talking about a peer-to-peer -peer lending platform called Lending Club, which has taken off quite a bit and has uh, become a, a platform for both investors to make money investing or giving uh, helping provide loans for consumers as well as for consumers to get those loans so that they can help uh, build their business and i i want to exercise a word of caution which is that before you invest in anything right i mean if you're discovering lending club and thinking about investing be careful absolutely be careful and listen very carefully number there are four things that i looked at when i assessed lending club um, first is the personal experience i had with them the second is the usability or ease of use. The third is the investor returns. And the fourth uh, is the investor cost uh, or the investor cost. And, and so looking at Lending Club, I have to put a huge, huge red flag. The personal experience I had with him was terrible. I never had a good experience with Lending Club. Um, I looked through many, many offerings they had there as an investor and I saw high risk and a low return for that taking on high risk, right? So thinking about Lending Club as a sort of FICO score, uh, a FICO score for lending to consumers without having to go to traditional banks. Um, so in theory, it works, right? I mean, you want to be able to offer money and give, uh, provide capital for small businesses and consumers who want to expand or grow their business. Um, but the, the caveat is that with the FICO scores that they rank people, um, the rate of return that you get for that are just atrocious, um, right? So thinking about, you know, when you go to uh, fill out an application on Lending Club as a consumer or it, it, as somebody who wants to uh, borrow money, um, you know, the FICO scores just don't match up, right? I mean, you have, for example, somebody with less than, let's say, a 600 credit rating um, where you might only get less than 5 to 10 percent. Uh, as, a, as a return and that's return itself isn't even guaranteed so you're basically saying that or they're saying lending club is saying that somebody that has been delinquent for years on potentially been bankrupt um, with terrible credit history uh, we're gonna go ahead and give them some money and you're not guaranteed the money and neither or it, it, you're not even necessarily getting more than 10% which would be what the S&P annualized over the last 10 years as a as it would provide you right I mean it just it doesn't add up um, so my personal experiences with them was terrible and I would not recommend Lending Club. The usability was average, meaning uh, when I logged into the site, it's kind of clunky, a little slow, doesn't have the UI, UX, user interface, user experience that would help an investor make decisions on who they want to uh, provide these loans to. Um, the average return, they're very average returns. Um, and, and, you know, again, it's all about you know, cost benefit. It's about the the uh, deciding to where to put your money and, and where not to put your money, right? Because if you know the the average rate of return on the S and P is around five to ten percent over ten years. If you're not necessarily in, and by the way, that's with ETFs. That's with general investing portfolios, right? Five to ten percent for the S and P basic ETFs. If you're trying to go to Lending Club, where they're not even remotely guaranteed to have that rate of return, you're going to miss out. So it's average at best and maybe even poor. I'm giving them. Uh, sort of a, 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 I'm tossing them a bone here and calling their investor returns average. The investor costs are poor. Um, they charge an origination fee. Um, they charge fees on the front end and the back end. So they, 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 they act as if they're not, or Lending Club acts as if they're not a traditional bank, but at the end of the day, it still seems like a traditional bank to me. Uh, you have a, a origination fees, you've got cost on front end and back end for both the borrowers and the lenders the lenders being the investors. It's terrible. And I, I think they're, they need to be more upfront about these origination fees. You know, they try to get uh, these, these, uh, these, poor, these poor borrowers money and they, you know, lure them in with this easy application. And then, you know, they don't even, you know, these borrowers don't even realize how many fees they're going to be paying on top of the high rate of interest that they have to pay back. So it's, it's really a bad setup for both the investors who are, who are the lenders as well as the consumers. It's a terrible, terrible thing for both. Um, they need to improve. I gave them a D plus. D is, is barely a degree. As I say, D is for degree. They barely make it. I mean, this is a, a really terrible site. Um, their UI UX is poorly managed. 
The consumer customer service is poor, it's automated, it's outsourced, it's embarrassing. They're really what I like to think of as an online loan shark. Um, and I think you need to be careful. So I would not recommend using Lending Club. Instead, I would try something different, right? I mean, we're not even competing with them, but I'll tell you this, if you wanna invest and make, uh, you know, have a potentially higher upside, do something like startup investing, do something where you at least have a higher rate of return potentially, um, nothing is guaranteed, but a higher rate of return potentially than investing in people with terrible credit scores where, you know, with bankruptcy histories where you might not get a dollar back. Um, so that's my review of Lending Club. I would not recommend it. I think there are many other opportunities, many other platforms out there to make serious money. And I want to tell you this, the good news is I'll give you the chapter of my best-selling book, Kings of Race, is for free by signing up on our website, angelkings.com backslash invest. That's angelkings.com backslash invest. You've got to make sure you bookmark that site. Um, just simply include your email and I'll make sure you have all these tips to be careful as a consumer, as an investor, to make sure you're doing the right thing. Thing. Again, my name is Ross Blankenship, better known as the Investing King, signing off. Good luck and Godspeed. Now, I want you to do something. Go to angelkings.com backslash invest, where you can get the first chapter of my book for free. Secondly, I want you to subscribe to the channel right here so you can continue to get the latest updates and investor tips to help you make some serious money. I'm Ross Blankenship, the Investing King, signing off.